Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Justy, and today, uh, hopefully you can tell by what's on my table, we are gonna be making an Eda bag, but not just any Eda bag. Do do do, a Steve Harrington Eda bag. About the dumbest Eda bag I could ever come up with. So I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> Basically, how this came about is I found a kind of pre-order for a Disney themed Eda bag that was shaped like a castle. It was kind of a green color. It was amazing. I've never wanted an Eda bag before that, but I was like, oh my god, it's a side bag. It's small. Um, it's the Disney castle. I can make a Disney Eda bag. And I was so, 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 so excited. Um, but sadly, they couldn't get it made. They did give all the money back, but I didn't get my Disney Eda bag. And I didn't really want to make a Disney one in a regular shape after that. I was so set on that, but I kind of had the itch to to make one. So for whatever reason, I decided Steve Harrington was the best to replace my Disney Eda bag with. Uh, logical step, right? So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to make my Steve Harrington bag and I'm so stoked. Everything I have got, I'm going to try and uh, both tell you in this video where it's from and tag down below if you want to go buy the same thing. If I don't know where it's from, I do apologize. I'll let you know. Some of this is a little bit older than others, but I, I think I might actually have a pretty good idea of most of it. So we'll see. To start, we have just a standard black backpack Eda bag. I decided black would be good for Steve Harrington. One, because um, it's very easy to match all my clothes. Two, some of the colors that are often associated with Steve Harrington are the very 80s themed colors. So I thought putting them on a black bag would do me a lot of good in that regards. Um, so that was my choice. This one did come from Hot Topic. So I wouldn't necessarily, oh, it's a lounge fly. I didn't actually know that. So that's why it was a little expensive. So it's a lounge fly bag, which so it was actually like, it was not a cheap bag, but because I went on a boxing day, I got it on sale, which is why I chose it. Um, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, you could probably find ones on like Amazon and stuff. Totally fine. Probably about the same thing. I don't know the quality of those, but I mean, whatever you want to do. But uh, yeah, this one came from Hop Topic. If you want a lounge fly, eat a bag. <laughs> we're just gonna, we're gonna cut this tag off. We're gonna leave these two strips for now because I, uh, it's keeping it nice and organized. But we'll come back to that later. All right, second step after clipping that is to take this paper out and actually look what I'm working with in here. So, Oh, actually, that's really annoying. So with this bag, the uh, slip doesn't actually come out in any way. So you have to, to decorate it within the bag, which is gonna be a little confining, but I guess we're gonna make it work. So first I brought these two bracelet sets that'd be the exact same, both from Hot Topic. I bought them specifically for the bats. Um, one I bought at full price, another one I got again on Boxing Day, so I felt comfortable buying the same thing. And I thought it would be cool to put the bats in like the two top heart parts up here, um, kind of hanging down. I don't know for sure if I'm going to use the Protect the Kids yet, maybe one at the very bottom, but not totally sure. But let's get those bats in. These I am going to sew in with this invisible thread, which I first found out and used when I was doing my Tinkerbell wing. This, uh, this whole can't take this out thing is really annoying. Let me just like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm totally sure. I'm not just an idiot. It's definitely just not coming out. So, uh, don't know if I personally recommend the loud try. I need to guess I work, work from down up. So what do I want at the bottom? So do I want to protect the kids? I guess I can have one. That's fine. And if I already paid money for this bag, I would 100% be just getting a new one because this is this is awful. At Loungefly, what the heck? That's like close enough to write at the bottom. Yeah. So there she is. Next, my friend from Alaska sent me this Stranger Things sticker set, also from Hot Topic. 
Um, and as you can see, there is a Steve face. Now, um, obviously I don't think it's gonna stick to the fabric, but I figured I could just like tape it down and if there's enough, it would work. So I was gonna put it in like the middle of the bag. So uh, this is gonna be an experiment. We're gonna see. Okay, next we have these two regular button style pens. This one is from Fandom Flare Buttons, which I bought at a convention, but you can find them on Etsy. This one is from uh, Marcella Suller. I'm sorry, I, I had no idea how to pronounce it. Uh, on Etsy as well, which I did order off Etsy. So I figured because they're both kind of the button style that I would uh, put them in symmetry or whatever that would be called with each other. Oh god, that's so bad. They're so off. Okay. <laughs> okay, next we have actual enamel pins, which are uh, two again, so that I put them in symmetry together, whatever the heck I said. Uh, this one's clearly from Lively Ghosts, again on Etsy. Uh, Steve Harrington season one, I had to have at least one thing of him. Come on, it's the OG. Um, and then this one is from Fan Flare, not to be confused with Fandom Flare Buttons, this is Fan Flare, uh, which is its own website and you can uh, find it there as long as lots of other really cool Disney pins. I love all their pins. And also, I just want you to know that while I was researching like the names of this guy and the other button on Etsy, I found that there's Scoops Ahoy Steve pins now that were not available when I was looking for pins. Um, so I'm pretty upset and I definitely have to buy those and put in this bag because I mean there's not enough in this bag yet We're starting out small, but uh, I I need I need them. I need them a lot. So just just as an FYI for everybody <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. So many pins. So magical. What a fabulous, beautiful bag. Alright, next we have this damn good babysitter keychain with this little doodad on it. And then the thing has his face and bats down the side. So I decided what I was going to do is I'm going to attach the actual keychain onto the bag itself, which is going to be the strap. Uh, this guy, but this guy I'm actually gonna put in the bag. Genius. We're getting artsy out here, guys. So, there he is, hanging out with himself <laughs> like an idiot. I love it so much. So, it's uh, time to make these stupid bracelets work as I wanted. Okay, he is done and not too, too bad considering this was the worst experience of my life. The bats up here ended up a little higher than I had intended, but that's fine. You can see them. And if you know Steve Harrington, you get what they are. Um, I really like that it's his double face right here in the center. I think that's hilarious. We got a few different pins. I definitely, definitely, definitely have to get more pins to go in here. This is a little empty, um, but I just wanted to start with something and slowly collect up. So here is the beginning. Boom, boom, boom. Sorry there was like less of the build than intended. I mean, you got to see some of it, but it wouldn't let me slip it out, which is what I was going to do and show you the whole thing. But uh, thanks, Loungefly. So I definitely, if I ever make a need a bag again, I'm gonna go with one off Amazon or maybe one from a con. And uh, I'm thinking maybe Peter Pan. I talked about that in my uh, little Disney haul video. Let me know if you think that would be cool. I could get like a green one. Oh, that'd be so fun. I can make it sparkly like pixie dust. Anyways, I really love this boy. I'm excited to use him at cons and when I don't wanna carry my Cats America backpack or just whatever. 
So let me know if you have made an Eda bag and tell me who for or what show, whatever it happens to be. I'm very excited to hear about that. And otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching, everybody. I'm so grateful that you're here. I love making dumb videos for you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.